Hi, welcome to the 13th episode of Coding with Amadeus. In this episode, we're not coding. We're finally building the smart mirror. I have all the gear, I got my tools, I got my screws. It feels like all the stars have aligned. In this episode, we're going to put the hardware together and mount the mirror on the wall. Let's take a quick look at how the mirror will work. Uh, here's my laptop screen and uh, here is the, the frame with the mirror fixed. So now I will put this uh, frame over my laptop. Take a look at this. Uh, the black surface is reflective and whatever is bright on the screen will be see-through. Let's take a look at the gear that we have. Uh, here is a piece of glass and the piece of glass has a reflective surface on it. And here's the frame. I picked up the frame and a piece of glass at the hardware store. Um, try to go for a common size. This one is 16 inches by 20 inches. So it also comes with uh, the glass, which is 16 by 20. And uh, it's also really easy to pick up uh, this uh, black piece of paper, also 16 by 20. Mounting of the reflective surface on the glass was the most difficult part of this build. This is the fourth attempt. And this attempt is successful because uh, first of all, uh, I had help. And second of all, uh, first I cut this reflective surface to the size of the glass. And you can see that actually this reflective surface is smaller than the glass. And that's okay because the frame right here it has approximately a quarter of an inch uh, space. What else do we need? I have a VGA screen uh, and this one requires a VGA to HDMI adapter to connect to Raspberry Pi. I have the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi has a micro SD card, 8 gigabytes. And here, make no mistakes with Wi-Fi adapters. I went to a electronics store and I asked for a Wi-Fi adapter for Raspberry Pi. They gave me this one and this one works fine with uh, Linux on Raspberry Pi. But if you're running Windows, then you need to choose from a very limited subset of available adapters. And one of those is uh, TP-Link. And uh, thank you, Jeff, for that adapter. I really appreciate that. Uh, what else do we have? We have uh, my circuit for the motion detection and those things will be kind of uh, hanging in here, but uh, we'll do it later. We'll do it after I mount everything on the wall. And here I have a bunch of wood. Uh, th this is the most fun part. Let's take a closer look. This will be the bottom of the mirror and this pieces of wood will be holding the frame with the glass. This piece of wood will be attached to the wall. Here is a very minimal separation between the piece of wood and the screen. And this side is a little bit different from the bottom side because here we are supporting the frame. And here I'll want to place some sort of a lock device which will just keep the top from toppling down. Okay, let's build it. We will start by drilling holes in a piece of wood so that we can mount the screen. And to do that, I'll put a piece of paper here, attach it with a tape so that it doesn't move, and uh, try to find the holes. And then uh, I'll try to replicate those holes in a piece of wood. I just want to give you a quick update on the drilling process. Uh, this is the bottom uh, and it will catch maybe half a centimeter of a frame and this is the top uh, and now I'm trying to screw in the, the screen into the board and I just wanted to show you this way I devised to align those VESA screws. I aligned the two and now I'm going to, uh, to screw in the remaining two and after that I'll pop those out and put uh, two more. We are uh, near the area where the mirror will be hung, right there. And uh, to my surprise, it actually works. 
So this is the top side that will have a little latch right here. And this is the bottom side. Uh, and there's one thing that I didn't think about, uh, which is attaching it to the wall. I need to uh, drill some holes here in the drywell, uh, but then there's very little space right here for the screw. So I think uh, that I will have uh, two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. And uh, then it will be uh, good to go and I'm really stoked about it. I just came back from the store where I bought the frame and the glass and the smart mirror is ready to be put on the wall. Earlier today, I cut a hole in this uh, black paper. The hole has the size of the screen and uh, I attached this paper and the glass into the frame with those black bolts. So we're gonna put this on the wall right here and this is the smart mirror. Uh, the screen has a lot of wires which uh, go around it, behind it. The power is held by Velcro, the Raspberry Pi and a little Wi-Fi dongle are right here. Uh, I still need to attach the distance sensors. The distance sensors will come from those GPIO pins and they'll hang around somewhere here. Actually, this setup gives me uh, ample space for, for adding various stuff in here. So let's see how it looks like. And this is it, the smart mirror is on the wall. Uh, there's only one power cable coming out of this. There's ample space right here for uh, additions. On the top, the smart mirror is held in place with this very delicate and sketchy setup. But speaking of delicate and sketchy setups, the one at the bottom is even more dangerous. There is a uh, not even a centimeter of wood holding the frame. Uh, so I need to work on that, I need to fix that. So I guess this will wrap up the episode of building the smart mirror as it is right here on the wall and uh, it looks amazing, I'm so stoked. Now what I need to do is keep working on the user interface. I haven't done any other screens, I want to make them look good on this mirror and I will also need to add the, the distance sensors on either side. All right, it was uh, good making this uh, video for you, and I'll see you in the next video. There's uh, plenty of stuff that I will add to the smart mirror. Take care.